الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى درية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Jazakullah Kari Anas Bismillah Rahman Rahim Salam and welcome all of you on behalf of ICCP community Mubarak Kul Aamantum Bikher Tabakallah Thank you for your appreciation and your donation and support of ICCP Alhamdulillah we met our target Takbir Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Thank you again or the support of our programs. Please continue to join those programs um, as we have different programs like Hunger Van, Young Professionals, Youth Group, and Senior Club. A special congrats to all the high school and college graduates. May Allah guide you and give you success in Deen and in Dunya. Brothers and sisters, we'll continue our virtual sessions till our center, center is ready to open. Please tune in and subscribe to our newsletter on our website. Eid Mubarak, and may Allah bless all of you and make it a joyous, joyful occasion for all. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Imam Tariq to lead us in the talk and khutbah. Over to you, Imam Tariq. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له 
وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله وصفيه ونبيه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح للأمة وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك فاللهم صلي وسلم وبارك على حبيبنا وشفيعنا وقرة أعيننا سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم عيد مبارك to everyone Alhamdulillah may Allah Ta'ala accept from us our fast the month of Ramadan and bless us and keep us safe it's so beautiful to see everybody's faces uh, on Zoom uh, Alhamdulillah see everyone is drinking and chomping away so we know that you've got the message that today is the day of Eid it is not the fundraiser for ICCP <laughs> Alhamdulillah so I have a confession to make when I was young one of my hopes and dreams for my, I mean, when I was really young, one of my hopes and dreams for myself was to be a superhero. I thought that, yeah, why can't I be a superhero? That sounds like a good deal. That They seem to have all of the resources, all of the wealth, all of the cool gadgets. And of course, as I got older and I realized my minority status, I realized, look, I'm not a superhero at all. It's not the life that's cut out for me. And I started having this complex by the way, everyone can hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> I started having this complex, you know, of feeling like as an inferior minority. And then one day when I was in high school, I had two of my friends, uh, one of my friends, his family had a, a log cabin in West Virginia. And he's like, let's go to the cabin for the weekend. So he took me and a bunch of friends and we went out there. We arrived there at night. And unfortunately, there was a very bad break-in. It, it looked very scary and they had like pictures of the family with, you know, like a knife in the face. It was very, very scary. So we were outside in the dark, in the woods, while they called for the police and the police came and, you know, they did their thing. And it took such a long time that my friends started to get hungry and they skipped uh, whatever lunch and dinner. We skipped the meal on the drive to West Virginia. Then we skipped dinner, obviously, because of the problem. They started freaking out because they were hungry. And I remember saying to myself, you know, but I mean, this is just like you're fasting. It's okay. You can just pu push through a little bit longer and you'll be okay. And then I realized I am a superhero and my superpower is that I can fast and all these poor other people can't fast. And if they skip one meal, they collapse. Uh, and then I would have sports pride. I went to a very sports or or oriented uh, high school. I know it doesn't look like that when you look at me, but I actually did go to a high school that focused on sports. And I remember I had practices and we had games and I was fasting. And everyone was like, oh, I need the water. I'm going to die. And I was like, it's fine. You know, I, I didn't die and I survived. Mm -hmm. And I realized I have, a super, I have a superpower. All of you have a superpower. And that's the superpower of fasting. And the reason it's a superpower is because it gives us the strength to say no. It gives us the strength to have self-restraint and to teach ourselves delayed gratification. Imagine... How many problems in people's lives could be solved if they simply said no? If they said no to bad decisions, if they said no to the times that they got in fights, if they said no to the times they abused people, and then extrapolate from that and think about the world's problems, how many nations and how many international crises could be saved and could be averted if people simply said no? A lot of times Muslims get into this conspiracy theory problem because we feel you know things are so bad there must be some orchestrated uh, system behind things being bad but well lying things are bad simply because people have no self-restraint people simply can't say no they can't say no to the desires that they have they can't say no to the whims that they have they can't say no when something pops in their head they feel if something pops in you must do it you must submit you must give in I remember many many years ago uh, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf was giving a lecture and he was talking about him traveling to Las Vegas and he said when he entered into the airport in Las Vegas and he, he was walking you know back in the day when people used to travel there was this big <laughs> sign that said submit to sin now imagine that sentence in the context of Islam submit to sin and we're saying no don't submit to sin just say no you can say no for a few hours you can hold back on doing this you can hold back on doing that and because of that we have a superpower. We are superheroes because we can fast. We know that we can say no. We know that we are stronger. We are better for it. Alhamdulillah. 
and that when we need that, that feeling to show up in our lives, that self-restraint, to teach ourselves self-delayed gratification, we know that we can withhold, and at the end of that, there will be some kind of reward, whether it be a reward in this life, inshallah, many rewards for all of us, or whether it be a reward in the hereafter when it comes to things like fasting and praying and things like that. So I want everyone to think about that, especially there's so many young people, mashallah, uh, on, on the call with us. We have over, we have 308 sign-ins. So if you average about three people per family, average, you know, we're, we're close to a thousand people right now. And this message, as simple and as funny as it sounds, imagine how many problems it can solve around the world if people just learn to say no. So remember all of you, if you wanna be a superhero, you are a superhero because you can fast and that's your superpower. May Allah Ta'ala accept from us, inshallah. May He keep us safe and Eid Mubarak to you and your families. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, uh, Jazakallah Imam Tariq. As uh, Imam Tariq pointed out, Eid Mubarak to all of you and we have around 1200 people uh, on the Zoom session, uh, Alhamdulillah, for joining in and tuning in. And with that, I'm going to transfer over to Imam Tarif. Over to you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. Indeed, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Alhamdulillah, what a day. Um, you know, um, We've been through so much, and just reflecting on this past Ramadan, first may Allah Azza wa Jal accept from all of you. May Allah accept your devotion. May Allah accept your qiyams, your salah, your remembrance. May Allah accept the rekindled relationships in the family. May Allah accept all that you've done. It's been a Ramadan like no other. And I remember very well before we started this experience of Ramadan, the thought was how we're gonna make it through Ramadan. This Ramadan is gonna be a Ramadan that is devoid of community, where we're locked up, quarantined in the house, will we make it? I want you to look back at yourselves and your families right now and say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Glad tidings to you. You, brothers and sisters, prayed like you've never prayed. You, brothers and sisters, raised your hands and made du'as night and day. We connected as a community. We healed. Families have been, you know, come, come back to life. Relationships have been rekindled. We've made sujood like we've never done in our lives. We've begged and asked Allah like we've never done. I've heard stories, subhanAllah, countless stories, countless stories of people, parents that have told me that indeed they've never experienced a Ramadan like this in their lives. So we started with this belief that we might not be able to make it and yet here we are at the month of Ramadan connected like we've never connected. Indeed, a Ramadan like no other. And I want to ask you right now, who has made this possible but the one who's behind it that sustains us in every second in our lives? Indeed, today, when we reflect, what should we reflect on? What lessons should we reflect on? And I say not but Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allah Azza wa who has sustained us through this month of Ramadan. Allah Azza wa who made us prostrate, who made us raise our hands, who made us ask, who brought us so close. There is no response like Allahu Akbar. And you know, I ask you today, why are we even saying this takbirs? These takbirs that we've said night and day in our salah and our worship, it's a takbir, it's an expression that punctuates this day. And what does it say? Allah is greater. Allah greater, it means Allah greater than anything we can comprehend because His mercy is boundless. It's His mercy, it's His Rahmah that made us what, you know, experience what we experienced in the month of Ramadan, that made us prostrate and indeed for this family to come together, for our community to come together every night and feel this love and affection and lean on each other in a way that made us last night. I know that some people were crying saying, oh my goodness, we're going to miss this. And indeed, it's nothing but a manifestation of the divine, of Allah Azza wa who steered all of us and guided us, proving to you and me that indeed, because we had a Ramadan like no other, it's because of Allah, and it is Allah who's like no other. There is no one like Allah Azza wa And Allah is asking you and me to respond today with an expression we might have taken for granted in our lives. When we start our salah and we say, Allahu Akbar, Allah is greater. 
today is the day when we look back and say Allah was there Allah never abandoned us Allah made us get through it and here we are today connected in extraordinary ways reflecting on the divine and saying Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah what does it say again this expression Allah is greater Allah is greater Allah is greater Allah there is no God but Allah Allah to him belongs all praise this expression should fill our hearts today our hearts should be filled with all of Allah you know I want you to sit back and think if you're worried and concerned about what's coming next because here we are we made it alhamdulillah rabbil alameen and today you know we're experiencing Eid like no other who would have thought Eid? you know we're cooped up at home and locked up with our families and Allah says just as I made you make your message your homes masjids one of the most incredible blessings that have happened is that we made our homes masjids a qibla a place of prostration and a direction for our salahs and the qiblas right Allah made this day a day in which we make takbir in our homes isn't that a new experience here we are with our families I'm next to my wife and my children every single beautiful being right in front of us right now a community member is with their families have we ever experienced this absolutely not Allah Azza wa is telling all of, all of us just as I created you just as I sustained you every second can you imagine the number of creation that Allah has sustained throughout time today you and I exist just the fact that we exist that we're alive that we're alive that we're sustained every moment should remind us of the power of Allah but I don't want you to just think of your family in case you're worried about the future Allah is amazing Allah is responsible for for everything there's billions of creation right now that that have been created by Allah and sustained by him everyone but it's not just in this current time it's throughout time can you imagine the billions of creation animals plants insects human beings that Allah created gave life sustained every moment until this time and into the future it's mind-boggling it's incomprehensible and when I wanted to think about this I wanted to think of the one who did it and there is no accidents with Allah and Allah makes no mistakes and Allah has made every life intentional and every plan intentional and he's guaranteeing for you and me our futures and our provision and he's already showed, showed us his mercy and he's asking us can you trust in me in this coming phase of your life can you trust that our lives belong to Allah Azza wa Jal? Wallahi if we reflect on this fact we will realize that there is no hand like Allah Azza wa Jal. that the one behind it all is a being a God indeed like no other because there is no other but he and that is sufficient to carry us into the future and I remind you brothers and sisters we're going to get through this you know why because Allah Azza wa Jal is there Yusuf alayhi salam when he was in the in the in, in the in the well after his family you know his brothers threw him there he was isolated he was quarantined what is it that gave him hope that gave him inspiration it's a thought of Allah Azza wa Jal. when we're squeezed in life it humbles us and it makes our minds and hearts turn to Allah he said Hasbi Allah Allah is enough for me Allah is sufficient for me and you know what what Allah did Allah opened doors for him and indeed the help came instantly there's something powerful in that when we really trust in Allah Allah will open doors from places he we least expect Allah will turn our lives around all we have to do is trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. all we have to do is reflect on the countless blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal. and Allah reminds us in shakartum if you're grateful for me if we're grateful to Allah right now and the day of Eid is a day of gratitude to Allah Allah promises he will multiply our blessings he'll preserve the blessings we don't have to worry about anything all we have to do is do our best in this moment and the best thing we can do right now is to surrender our hearts to Allah because there is no one like Allah has the husband Allah Allah sufficient Allah's enough Allah took Yusuf out of the well Allah has the wajal took Yunus out of the belly of the fish Allah will take us our, out of our quarantines after the struggle into relief bi'idhnillah the one who created you and me and sustained us will convert the fear into safety will convert the cries and the pain into an incredible relief 
He'll convert our worship into blessings. Bi'idnillah. All we have to do is turn to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is one of the most extraordinary lessons we take from the month of Ramadan. Tariq was speaking of superheroes. I love this notion. What have we taken from the month of Ramadan? Allah showed us what powerful changes are all about. The question today for you and me, if we're grateful beings, grateful to Allah Azza wa Jal, are we even grateful for the adversity? This adversity, brothers and sisters, is a means of growth. And I can tell you that a new life is emerging. A new life is emerging. Think of the belly of a mother that carries a child. That's a painful experience. What Allah is showing us is that through pain, through suffering, through labor, what comes out is a new life, a life of a child. It had to come through pain. Could it be that this adversity was shaped by Allah indeed, the responsible one who shapes the heavens and the earth for a purpose? has put us through this adversity to make us grow. Countless stories have come to us about families that have been transformed. Fathers and mothers who are saying, I've never paid attention to my family. Our relationships have been rekindled. How many souls have prayed to Allah like they've never prayed? You see how Allah is changing us? The question is today, do we forget about Allah? I conclude with this. There is nothing like gratitude to Allah. That in the heart of hearts, in your heart right now, that you put your faith and trust in Allah, that you sit with your family, I encourage you, and reflect on the blessings of Allah. You cannot count them. Turn your attention to this. Think about them with your children and your spouse and count the blessings of Allah. But I also want you to do something else. Think of the changes that Allah introduced into your lives in the month of Ramadan, this powerful month of change of the mercy of Allah. And think what were those struggles that I had? Perhaps those spiritual diseases that we had in our hearts. Perhaps it was us struggling with giving. Perhaps it was struggling with praying. And Allah made us progress. Allah showed us the ability to come closer to Him, to have hope and inspiration, to come closer to Him and to our families. Isn't that enough? And Allah is saying, can you take this forward? Can you build on what you've done? Can you live a life bigger than yourselves? A life of giving? A life of gratitude, our lives were changed, brothers and sisters. This is such a beautiful community. And we have so much to do together as a community. We cannot look back. Allah has shaken the core, core of existence to make us all change and grow because you know what? Life is short. And it's only a matter of time before we go back to Allah. Allah reminds us in the Quran, if we've been guided, it's because of Allah. And there's a beautiful dua that you, you know all of us need to say today. رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِغْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً Ya Allah, do not make our hearts swerve today. Do not make them swerve. You guided us. You made us taste hope and change. You brought us that close to you. You are beautiful, beautiful, Ya Allah. You are mind-blowing. And because you're mind-blowing, we're going to say today, Allahu Akbar, there is no one like Allah. There is no one bigger than Allah. Allah is bigger than our problems, our pain, our tears. Bigger than everything. And Allah will solve anything, but Allah is testing us. And Allah is bringing us close because Allah wants to cleanse us. Because there's a beautiful day waiting for you and me. That Allah promises that when we go back to Him, there is no fear. There is no grief. There is the love of Allah. And Jannah is waiting. This path of life is a path of returning back to Allah. With our families, our community, we lean on each other. We aid each other. Please, brothers and sisters, come back. We promise you, we're there for you, inshallah. You know, ICCP is here, and Allah is here. And we're here for each other. But let us come with hearts that trust Allah. Hearts that are full of gratitude. Hearts that want to embrace that change in our lives because we deserve it. Because Allah gave us potentials. And Allah promises we can change the face of this earth. You and I are being witnessed today. We're witnessed by our gestures, by our efforts, by what we do, by our energy. Let our families, let our community see the best in us. See beauty, see hugs, see kisses today, see smiles, have hope and spread hope and watch what Allah will do with you. And when you're in trouble, turn up and say, Hasbi Allah, Allah is enough for me. And put your head on the ground in prostration. And by Allah, Allah will open the doors of the heavens for you and your family. And when you give, be charitable, brothers and sisters. 
and Allah will multiply for you your resources and your gifts and will preserve them. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us a people today whose hearts are full of gratitude, full of awe of Allah, a people who have committed to initiate a change in our lives for the better, a people in a community and families that will not look back, but that we are a people who will build on the changes that we have introduced into our lives by the will of Allah Azza wa A people that trust indeed in Allah. A people that say Allahu Akbar, Allah is bigger and bigger and bigger than anything, any struggle, any problem in our lives. May Allah make us people of gratitude. May Allah make us a people that will spread hope and change and inspiration that we touch everyone around us, that show affection and mercy. Allahumma ameen. Go out, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, spread love and joy. Show affection to your families. Let them look at you and see beauty and inspiration for the rest of our lives. Alhamdulillah, let us say together, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah, Alhamd, Barak Allah fikum. We look forward to seeing, inshallah, in the upcoming events with ICCP. Please join us. We'll do this together. We're going to get through this by the will of Allah. By his grace and his power, Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen, wa salli lahum ala Sayyidina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. I turn it back to you, inshallah, Rumah. Jazakullah, uh, Imam Tarif, Eid Mubarak, everyone, taqabal Allah. And with that, I'll trans hand it over to Kari Anas for <coughs> Takbirat, and that will be our conclusion of our program. Eid Mubarak, everyone. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Allah Akbar كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وحده ونصر عبده وأعز جمده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى درية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا عيد مبارك سعيد to all of you may Allah accept our your prayers your fasting and your duas إن شاء الله and see you soon all Eid Mubarak, everyone, and Assalamu thank you for joining in and tuning in. <clears throat> Eid Mubarak.